In this video, we're going to learn how to do on-screen visual effects such as taking damage. For this demo, we have a scene with just a camera. We're going to add a texture rec node as a child of the camera, which brings us to the 2D view for the scene. Click on layout and select full rect to expand the texture box. Make sure expand is enabled and drag whatever visual effect you want into the texture box. I'm using this damage effect that I created. If you want, you can download it using the link below and it'll fill up the whole screen. If you run the scene, you can see the damage effect overlaid on top of the screen, but we only want to see it if certain events are triggered. So let's go back to the scene and add an animation player node as a child of the camera. Click on animation, select new and give the animation a name. I'm gonna call it pain. I'm gonna change the length of the animation to 0.02 seconds. Then I'm going to click on the texture rec node and under visibility, click on modulate and in the window that pops up, slide the A slider all the way to the left to make the damage effect invisible. Press the key icon and press create. I'm going to slide the animation slider over to the 0.05 mark, click on modulate and slide the A slider all the way to the right and press the key icon one more time. Finally, go to the end of the animation, move the A slider back to the left and press the key icon one last time. And so now if you play the animation, the damage effect flashes on screen. Add a script to the camera node, and then for this demo, I'm just going to trigger the damage effect when I click my mouse. And so in project and project settings, in the input map tab, I'm going to use a key binding that I've created called fire. In the script, create a reference to the animation player, on ready var anim equals dollar sign animation player. Then create a new input function, func input event, and in it write if input dot is action just pressed fire anim dot play pain or whatever you decided to call the animation. Run the game and when I click the mouse, the damage effect flashes on screen. And you can easily adapt this to trigger if you fall from high up or if you get shot by an enemy, or you can do something completely different. It doesn't even have to be damage. The sky really is the limit here. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, bell, links to the Discord and Twitter down below. And as always, have a nice day.